Hello and welcome to another episode of Everything Power Electronics. My name is Stefan Häuser and today we are talking about switching the Generation 7 IGBTs. First let's talk about turning on the IGBT. Here the Generation 7 IGBTs come with a very nice feature and that is the full controllability of the turn on voltage slope, the DVDT. That is especially important in motor drive applications because here we typically have to limit the DVDT to a range of 3 to 5 volt per nanosecond. This is important because you do not want to generate too high cable losses and you also do not want to damage the motor windings. Nevertheless, if you have the possibility to go with a very high DVDT, you can also aim for very low switching losses. At turn on, on the contrary, we do not have that possibility to control the DVDT too much. Here it is fixed to a value in the range of 4 volts per nanosecond. So it's matching the requirements of motor drive applications. Now the question is, what is actually the power losses in comparison to IGBT4 power losses in the real application? In order to find that out, we did some simulations based on our Miniskip 3 package. As a six-pack topology, we could fit with IGBT4 a nominal current of 150 amps in that package. We simulate at 2 kHz with a limitation of 4 volt per nanosecond of DVDT and we rate these power losses to 100%. If we change now the chipset to a generation 7 IGBT of 150 amp, we get slightly lower losses but in a similar range. Now the Generation 7 IGBTs come with a very nice feature which is a smaller chip size at the same nominal current. So now we can actually fit a maximum current of 200 amps into the same package. Doing so and doing the same simulation we end up again at slightly lower power losses but still in a very similar range. So summary, the switching losses are in a very similar range. But all IGBT we use of the Generation 7, they come with a lower forward voltage. The forward voltage drop is about 20% lower than with the previous generation IGBT4. And that of course then contributes to either higher power density plus the higher nominal current that we have anyway or to a higher efficiency in the drive system. <music> 